children of Israel never follow the Lord at that time. They start serve other gods, which is why the Lord split them in a two, right? In a two kingdom, right? I'm going to show you why them call the southern and the northern kingdom. Now, this is Joshua 18, verse 5. And they shall divide it into seven parts. Judah shall abide in their coast on the south and the house of Joseph, which is Ephraim, Manasseh, and Down. Um, Joseph shall abide in their coast on the north. So them are the north or the northern kingdom and we are the southern kingdom. So the children of Israel get split into two. Right, so we both know that in time when Christ had come, the Jews is still in other land, right? But we, but it never give much account for the other tribes, ten tribes. Now, what you fear for understand is that they were still scattered out there. They were called Gentiles, and them did a follow um, heathenistic laws. They were Hellenized, right? They were the ones that were Hellenized, well, mostly Hellenized. Right, because you have Judahites or parts of Judah, Benjamin and Levi were also a part of that. You understand me? But for those tribes, them they are worship and follow other gods. You understand me? I'm gonna show you what end up happening um, to those ten tribes now. Alright, this is 2nd Ezra 13, start of 40. Now we'll start with the other 10 tribes. So, Ima say the partner of Ezra, so in blatantly say the partner of Ezra, so say, um, 2nd Ezra, so say the 10 tribes that come over the new world, right, was a lie. That's what him said. Now, here's what the scripture say. This is 2nd Ezra 13 and 40. Those are the ten tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their own land in the time of Uzziah, the king, whom Salamanazar, the king of Assyria, led away captive. God, the king of Assyria led those ten tribes captive. Right? So, they did, they did have them as, 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 as in slaves. Right? And he cried and he carried them over the waters. And some came, they unto another land. So how you say oh, the scripture never say oh, them, them, them come over? The ten tribes never come over. And that was a lie. And look what it just said a while ago. Listen this now. But they took this counsel among themselves that they would leave the multitude of the heathen and go forth into a further country where there never mankind dwell because but then over here we dwell no right now the Americas the Caribbean all of that it was considered as the new world everything was back in Europe Asia and and so called Africa that was where life was that was where people dwell people never come over here in the new world hence why them call it the new world right which is southern and southern and um, northern America um, Canada, um, the Caribbean, and all those parts. This is what they call the New World. Before, people never usually dwell over here, so. But the scripture just tells us, yo, the ten tribes come over to a new country where never mankind dwell. Hence, why them say, when them say, when them have a joke, we say, um, Christopher Columbus never discovered nothing. Right? And them always say, yo, you're late, like, you, you just, uh, when, when, when people run a joke or you just find out something, them say, yo, you're late in like Christopher Columbus. Right? Why them always make them joke? Because Christopher Columbus come and see people over here. Him never come and discover new land. People are already there. Who were those people? The Indians, yo. The Mexicans, the same Mexicans. Indians, um, the Tainos here in Jamaica, they were already over here. Why you think them come over here? The same scripture prophesied so that them end up though. That they might 
the, and this is one that I show you why them even come over here because they leave the land of the heathens. Why? Because they couldn't keep them lost such as the commandments or follow them ways, yo. It's a, yo, that they might, that they might their keep their status which they never kept in their own land. So them couldn't keep them, 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 um, when them over there in captivity, them couldn't follow the law, statutes and commandments. Right? And one of the reasons why them left off to follow it, yo, off to keep, off to keep certain customs, but them couldn't keep. And they entered into Euphrates by the narrow passage of the river. So this is how the channel, them, them, them go through the, the, the river Euphrates for travel, come over this side. Because it was uh, it was always a passage where um, King Solomon Navy usually take and it take them three years to go and come, for come when not so King Solomon Navy go oh, come over here and go over back over over to the east. It took them three years. I want them to them normally get um, spices, rare birds, and and and, and precious material. Right, it's a um. Verse 44, for the Most High then showed signs for them. So the Most High lead them from what them did through the passage of come over here and held still the flood till they were passed over. For there, that country, there was a great way to go, namely of a year and a half. So it took them a year and a half just for left over the east by ships come over here. Right? This is what I'm saying. It took them three years for not Solomon, King Solomon Navy to left from over there, come over here, and go back over. Because just to make one trip come over is a year and a half. And it say, and the same region was called Ashtoreth. Then dwelt they there until the latter time. And now when they shall begin to come, the high shall stay, the springs, and the stream again, that they may go through. Therefore, so is, so is thou the multitude with peace. So I know just one time them travel. I know just one batch alone, a multiple batch. Them go from time to time and go away and come over here. Right? You always have stories, our, 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 our history of the Indians Traveling by ships, them always go from land to land, and they were great sailors, yo. You have a movie named Moana. Moana, well, they picked that, yo. Because in Moana, she tell her tribe, because she's an Indian. There were Indians over, over, over in, in, in New World, yo. And they picked the story, it's a cartoon, but they picked the story perfectly, that them look, there were people that always travel by sea. Them always have them boats, and them use the stars. Them use the stars. As them compass to find them way around, to find themselves from island to island. Right? Just like what the scripture said, the Lord showed them signs to come over. You can watch that movie, yo. Right? So this this um half of a man I explained said the scripture never says that. I'm gonna play about the part the way I'm saying. That him says, 2 Esdras 13 never said that. Said the 10 tribes come over before. It never said that. I'm going to just read it a while ago. Right? And this is the reason. Before I go back to it, this is the reason why the Lord say, yo, met the 12 tribes sign. He must say, yo, you don't need for have it. You don't need for have it for teach. And if you need for have it, you can just have that label. No. You have what you need for label, label. Edify the people, make them know what's going on. You understand me? And this is the reason why the Lord deliberately make what I've met the 12 tribe sign for wake up the elect, yo. It said this is Ezekiel 37, verse 15. The word of the Lord came again unto me, saying, Moreover, thou, um, thou son of man, take thee one stick and write upon it for Judah, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. And for the children of Israel, which are the other twelve tribes from Ephraim gone down, his companions, then take another stick and write upon it for Joseph, 
the stick of Ephraim and for all the house of Israel his companion, and joined them one to one to another into one stick. How you do that? You put the twelve, the whole twelve tribe together. So they were broken into as you explain, so you have the northern kingdom and you have the southern kingdom. Right? And what you do? You put the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom together, and we you get the twelve, the whole twelve tribe. Just like what the scripture say. And join them one, one to another into one stick, and they shall become one in thine hand. And when the children of thy people shall speak unto thee, saying, Will thou not show us what thou meanest by these? So guess what? It's for a sign for sure. Say, oh, when them come and say, oh, so what you mean by this? Why the twelve tribes? Twelve tribes there and all. Uh, he showed them. So look, these are the places where the children of Israel were predominantly scattered. This is how them located. You understand me? Say unto them, Thus saith the Lord, Power, behold, I will take the stick of Joseph, which is in the hand of, which is in the hand of Ephraim, and the and the tribe of Israel. His follow his fellows, and will put them with him, even with the stick of Judah, and make them one stick, and they shall be one in thine hand. And what is, and, and that stick is basically the, the let me say the twelve tribes sign. Right? And the stick whereon thou writest shall be in thine hand before their eyes so them can see so them can know say look the lord come for honor people and when them see judah benjamin and levi and scratch them in but me no me no me no know if me apart when i show them say what well, they're predominantly scattered here people can relate and trap box say look them people are the children of Israel, but the, them same when the Lord say, oh, come over in a, in a transatlantic slave trade. Now them, it say, oh, the, the, the Lord are punished for this and this and this. And you list out the things that when they get punished for. And I so you bring out scriptures and edify. You teach the people, yo. But first, they have to know who they are. That's the main importance of the 12 tribes sign, to know who you be. For sure, the people them say, oh, you are the children of Israel and you're mainly scattered here. I own the scriptures I talk about. Uh, verse, let's start back at verse 21. And say unto them, Thus saith the Lord, be, um, Power, behold, I will take the children of Israel from among the heathen, whither they be gone, and will gather them on every side and bring them into their own land. And at that will go out there and prophesy, yo. We tell the people, say, oh, this so called um, Americas are Jamaica. This is not our land. This is not our inheritance, yo. You understand me? The Lord is coming back for his people. Right? And the Lord will deliver us from our oppression, from our, from our slave captures. From this slavery that we're in, the Lord will come and deliver us and bring us back in our land. And I will make them one nation in the land upon the mountains of Israel and one king shall be king to them all and they shall be no more two nations the southern nation the northern nation the southern kingdom the northern kingdom right them not gonna be one of Israel and one of Judah they might be one Israel one children of Israel Neither shall they be divided unto two kingdoms anymore at all. Just like I'm just tell you. Them never be divided at one I call it the, 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 um, the southern kingdom and the next one called the northern kingdom. Them never be one tribe. Hence why we have the sign, the 12 tribes. We're not going to distinguish and say we're only for the Jews, the so-called black, or we're only for the Indians, the, 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 the Seminole Indians, the, 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 the um, Mexicans, or the, Hisp um, the Hispanics, or any other people. Eh? We come for the whole, the Lord will come back for the whole tribe of Israel. Not only so-called blacks, because black is not a nation. The children of Israel is not black. The children of Israel have a different, different shades of brown. And they're not only black people or Africans. We're not Africans. 
It says, oh, Neither shall they defile themselves anymore with their idols, nor with their um, detestable things, so-called um, Jesus Christ, right? Um, Jehovah, right? Um, Yahweh, right? All them other gods, Selassie, Baphomet, Buddha, um, you name it, right? The name of the Heavenly Father is, is Yahweh, and the name of His Son is Yahweh Shai. And we're not Jamaicans, we're not Americans, we're not Africans. We're Israelites. We're the children of Israel. Nor with any of their transgression, but I will save them out of all their dwelling places, wherein they have sinned, and will cleanse them, and shall and shall and um so like so shall they be my people and I shall and I will be their power. And after the whole conclusion of it all. That are the value of the purpose of the twelve tribes and to let these people know that they are the children of Israel, not Africans, not Americans or Jamaicans, or black people. Jacob had four wives. He had Rachel, Billa, Zilpha, and Leah. All right. So these women were all black. All right. And they had twelve black sons. Yeah, okay. Black. And these sons became the twelve tribes of Israel. Yes, they must stress from black. These women were black, and these um, children, the twelve, um, they have twelve black sons. Like really, <laughs> really, you were there. The one of them look like some some Hamites, don't it? Some black people. <laughs> oh gosh, man! And some of them mix and stuff with the other nations, but they didn't become white, and they didn't. You hear him say? Some of them mix with the other nations, bombard, but they didn't become white. Like really, sleeping with a next. Um, a lighter skinned woman, you know, think your pitney will come out light skin. And then after a while, if you continue sleeping with light skinned women, only thing will come out a light skin, and you probably have a one and two black or darker skin. Let me not say black, a darker skin than, than the light skin come out. And then you'll say, you'll be astonished not knowing, say, oh, your ancestors were dark skin, right? When you see that, you know, realize say, your ancestors were dark skin. I've seen that plenty of time. Where the woman light skin and the man dark skin and the pitney come out light like the mother. Or the man dark or the man light skin and the woman dark skin and the and the pitney come out dark like the mother. Because my father lighter than me. And my mother dark like my complexion. Right? And when me how me come out, me come out dark skin. But that means that I'm not my father's son. See him so if my father they sleep with a white woman, which my father sleep with a white woman, and my brother come out. Um, like looking white, my brother come out looking white. So what this, what this, what this cool enough to say? Cause him, 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 this, this. Oh gosh. Move from Assyria to America, through the um, the, through the Atlantic Ocean, and around Africa. All right. That right. And see, same thing. You might go back to. All right. Come play about the part of the video for making you hear this. But just break it down and just prove it in the scriptures. And you hear what I say? I'm saying it's not, not credible. It's a false doctrine. Because when you go into Second Ezra chapter 13, it doesn't say anything about that. But these guys, they... Which me just go in it and it did say that. They teach false doctrine because they don't know anything. And they are not even real prophets. Alright? This is um Second Ezra 13 and 40. It says, These are the ten tribes which were carried prisoners out of their own land in time of Hosea the king, whom Salmanazar the king of Assyria led away captive. And they carried him over the waters, and so came they into another land. But they took this counsel among themselves that they would leave the multitude of the heathen and go forth into a further country where never mankind dwelt, that they might keep their statues which they never kept in their own land. And they entered into the Euphrates by the now. Him I read the same precept, but guess what? Him not a read over it. Him not even get in it or get for understand it or break it down. 
him just a while ago say it, 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 it's false, right? And now he might read it for himself and I pass right over it. I saw the scripture say, oh, <laughs> eyes that they, they, they can't see and ears that, that they can't hear, yo. Because he might read it for himself and he can't see it. He not forget this. this. This is not for him, yo. Passages of the river for the most I didn't show signs for them and else to the flood till they were passed over. Right? So that is basically what they did. They left from Assyria and went back to Africa. Okay? They didn't I'm confused. Him say them left from Assyria and go back in Africa. Where was Assyria and where was so called Africa? None of the same place, bro. You need both for left. Hold on, it will come like you say, I left from the land of Canaan over to Egypt. Like, you need both to travel from Canaan to Egypt, the camels them right fun. So the same thing, um, Assyria to Africa. Af- Assyria was in Africa, Jack, Jack Ward. Like, we, you may not understand the money. If you literally look up the, ge- geolog- um, the geological location on this place, Assyria was located in the so-called Africa. It was in the same region, it's same, at the same continent. Them just part up, them just named the whole continent Africa. But originally it had different sections, different borders. I just today's society nowadays, since recent, them named the whole continent Africa. From the Roman general um, Leo, Cipri- Leo Cipriot Africano. I, I him them name it after. Before that, it, the name be itself like Bada. Go into the river and go down and and build ships and sail around the Horn of Africa and went to America, okay? That's a false interpretation of the scriptures. But because these guys are racist and they ate Africa, they ate um the Africans they, they teach that the Mexicans or the Israelites, but the Mexicans are not the Israelites. And they do this because they love the Mexican women. Okay? <laughs> they do not like the black woman because the black woman is not dealing with them. So they re- So the man them I go I go, go to them we have to teach the Mexicans our children of Israel because they want a Mexican woman. I think about that money I say. Pumbat Yo No <laughs> The man says a false interpretation we get. Why well, we say, why well, we say, um, them go over in America. Them left from so called um, Africa and go over in America. But when they left, them build ships to leave from Assyria for going to Africa. Like, how credible your story is versus, versus what the scripture said. Not my story, versus what the scripture said. Y'all build ships for going to, from leave from Assyria to going to Africa? Versus build ships for leave from Assyria for go over in a new world. Think about that. And the new world is over in this side of the hemisphere. I have a last scripture for close this out because honestly, this man really, really, I get uh, this, this coon really, I get from my nerve now. Um, this is uh, Second Thessalonians 2. All right, let's start at 11. It says, oh, And for this cause, the Most High shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie, that, that they all might be damned who believe not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. Because right now, this, this man, what this man I, I teach, just for debunk the, the, um, the scriptures, and I use the scripture, the scripture itself cut him, because the lack of understanding this man can't get in it, yo. This man can't understand it. This is, uh... Hold on there. 